Getting stuck in the snow and ice is one problem, but WFMY News 2's Kevin Kennedy found one driver whose problem was bigger than just the winter mess. He's live in Guilford County with the story. Yeah, so what have we been telling people over the past couple of days? If you go out on the roadway, certainly be careful, especially if you come across a roadway that has that slushy kind of wintry mix, could be some sort of black ice situation. But what if you come across a road like this that's perfectly clear? What could go wrong, right? Well, one driver found out. If you're driving down the road, this is not the sign you want to see. Maybe they might let me through, <laughs> but it ain't gonna happen. Highway 150 blocked. The obvious option, turn around and go back. But if you've got 18 wheels and not four, that three-point turn ain't so easy. The decision to pick this road, not looking so good. Well, this was like the quickest way to Kernersville, so that's the way I took. On most days, probably. On this day, it's not even close. Donald Blackwell dead-ended here around 2. We broke the news when it could open. Probably about another eight hours. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got to turn around. The narrow two-lane road surrounded by 12 inches of snow made for one frustrating attempt after frustrating attempt after, well, you get the idea. And as bad as this was, it gets worse. As my photographer rolled, I did what I could to help. Thumbs up if it was clear, uh, hands out to stop. That tree almost took a hit. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. This chicken dance on wheels lasting 20 plus minutes at this point. Go, stop, almost got it. Nope, 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 back up, start over again. But guess what, finally, I'd like to think it was me, but some nifty driving probably played a role. Yes, everything's good. A 45 minute delay, this big rig back on the road, next stop, the milk aisle at Walmart. Okay, in all seriousness, I'm going to get a little close for this. If you go to that Walmart in Kernersville tomorrow and you need to buy milk and you go there and you get that milk, well, just know it's partially because of me. So you're welcome. And if that same Walmart doesn't have any bread on the shelves, well, that's not my fault. I did everything I could. We're live in Greensboro. I'm Kevin Kennedy, WFMY News 2.